Hello guys, Delta 101 back here with a new video, and as you can see, I'm wearing my Golf 4 impression. Now this can either go for Desert Storm in 1990, and then Desert Shield in 1991. So, either way, it can be used. Now, in the future, there will be further adjustments kind of thing, starting with the pants, of course, but um, I'm basically trying to go for a um, marine uh, outfit. And of course, you can see that I have no pa patches or not, because um, U.S. Army would wear, you know, the U.S. Army right here, and then your name, and then, you know, unit, and then the flag. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to start with my headgear, all the way to my boots, explain where I got it and how much it was. Um, and at the end, I'll talk about, you know, what I need to adjust and all that, and what I need to buy or what not, you know, what to buy new. Um, pop my collar here because this, these suspenders are, ah, they rub on my neck a lot and it just hurts. So, let's start with the, uh, helmet. So, this helmet is my uncle's when he was in Iraq, not in the Gulf War, but in the 2000s, uh, late 2000s, early 2010s, I guess you could say, um, I think he didn't really tell me much about what he did, but I think he was either in the 3rd or 4th Marine Division. So, and, uh, so, yeah. So, the actual helmet itself I got from my uncle and this um, helmet band um, I got from my mother. She was deployed to Afghanistan. Of course, this is not the one she used on her deployment, but this is something she would use. She just gave it to me, yeah. Um, this helmet cover. This is a original helmet cover. I forgot what it was dated, but this is a small, extra small size for a medium Pasket helmet. It fits pretty well, you know. I like it to where it's not, you know, with wrinkles and all that. You know, I kind of like it when it's flat. Now, of course, on the top here, you can, you know, see some wrinkles here and there. But no, overall, yeah. And then um, how you can tell it's a marine helmet is from the back here. Possibly, if you can see, you can see the marine emblem. All right. Um, now, of course, since this was a 2000s and 2010s helmet, it's not going to have the liner. It's more of going to have the pads, which are different than, well, yeah. Um, and you can see, hopefully pretty well in there. You can see the Velcro in the bottom. But I also put a reproduction liner in there. I couldn't really find an original liner that was one in great condition or even a reproduction, so I just kind of bought a, um, yeah, a different reproduction. But uh, no, overall the um, helmet itself was free. The uh, Pasquet helmet cover was, I believe, 30 bucks. And then the uh, Pasquet lining was about $38. And then the, you know, you know, helmet band was free, same as the helmet, which really helped a lot because, one, I don't want to buy a reproduction Pasquet helmet, and two, I don't really want to buy a original Pasquet helmet because if you know how much those go for, no. Um, yeah, so... Overall, this comes to up a total of 68 bucks, 67, including tax and all that. But yeah, roughly about 68, 67 dollars. So now that we're done with the helmet, uh, let's move on to the web gear. So I'm having the Atlas gear, which is two ammo pouches. All right, a compass medical pouch, suspenders. And if I turn to the back, I have my butt pack, my canteen, and then my entrenching tool. Now, of course, the entrenching tool, I know it has a hole there. When I was younger, you know, I tried to, you know, make everything, you know, easier for myself instead of realistic. But also, it is a different shade of gray. So I will say that. I'm carrying two M16 ammo pouches, and just to make it look, you know, puffed up, 
I just took a block of wood, spray painted it black, and yeah, basically that's all I did. Which, to be honest, these are a pain to get in there sometimes. So, yeah. And then I have my um, belt, which the problem I have with belt at the start is that when clipping it, it was very hard to clip on and it was very hard to clip off. All right, because it, was, it hasn't been used in years. So, yeah. So the suspenders costed about 15 bucks. The ammo pouches, they were roughly about 40 bucks. And trenching tool, it was free from Christmas. This canteen, um, I mean, my mom went to like a um, PX basically and they had that. So, but the canteen pouch I got from my mom's boss when she was um, in the army. And then this butt pack. Uh, it's a Rothko butt pack, so I'm thinking like 30 bucks, I think. No, sorry, it was 23 bucks. 24, 23, 24. All right, and the belt, it was 20, which that's roughly coming up to a total of whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Compass pouch, or medical pouch, either one. Um, I don't have like anything else there besides a, um, camera. Now, of course, this is not a 1990s camera. This is a 2002 X, um, Casey, I don't know. Um, it's basically a digital camera, and I'm going to be using this for my um, Iraq, kind of Afghanistan tricolor uniform. For that uniform, I'm going U.S. Army, but I first have to continue this, and I'm working on a paratrooper uniform, so... But, um, yeah, that's basically what I have up in there, just to make it, you know, look like something's in there, instead of having a uh, tin can or something. But, yeah, um, the uniform. I gotta say, it was a great steal, but I don't really like to use that term. I just like to say great deal. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a great deal. It is a 83-dated chocolate chip pattern. Um, so you can see... Well, not really. You can't see. You can see right there. The buttons. Still there. So, I bought it for 30 bucks. 28 really, but rounding up. But, yeah, I bought it for 28 bucks, And, turns out these go for way more. Up to 150 I think. So, um, but since it's a marine uniform, I kind of tried my best into making this, like look good but same time also you know be realistic now of course since this is a marine uniform i don't want to go like full out and have just how do i say it? just like all the way like this is correct this is correct this is correct all right the only thing i'm really trying to do is just make the impression make it look somewhat accurate and then get done get done with this and then move on to the next uniform that's really all I'm doing, because I'm working on uniforms and uniforms and work uniforms, and I'm really trying my best. Um, but now you can kind of see here, like, um, yeah. So I tried rolling these up, you know, good as possible. I didn't iron them. I just kind of took something heavy, stomped it down, and yeah, it looks like this. But I gotta say. doesn't really give that much, you know, help when, you know, I'm putting my hands up. But, uh, it's an 83 dated, um, with the buttons, so I'm thinking about, like, an enlisted officer or something. But, uh, no, 83 dated. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's the jacket. Now, hear me out. I know, and I know. The pants. Why am I wearing woodland pants? Well, during the Gulf War, Saudi, uh, I forgot his name. Saddam Hussein, I believe. Um, so basically, Saddam Hussein used nerve gas, all right, on a bunch of other countries he invaded and a bunch of other people. So in the United States, what they do to... Um, you know, not allow that on their soldiers and is make like a, um, how do I say, a gas, 
pants, you know, gas, just so the nerve gas wouldn't affect. And you can see that from the M7 gas mask. All right, which fun fact about it is that if I pull out my canteen, this canteen is not original, it's reproduction, but as you can see, that's what they would stick on um, their, uh, I guess water filter kind of thing. All right, they would connect that to the gas mask, and then uh, I'm just gonna set this to the side. They would connect that to the gas mask, and then that's how they will be able to drink water when they have the gas mask on. Um, but no, so the things I have to do is really I just want to like have you know not like two different you know camos uh kind of like how marines did in world war ii where they wore p42 trousers or p42 trousers a p41 jacket or p42 jacket p41 trousers so I'm not trying to mix match I'm just mix matching for now until I get the pants but since I'm going with a marine uniform uh the things I need left for this uniform is the flak jacket, which wouldn't be too much. Um, I see a lot on eBay that fit my size. So, and they're fairly cheap, coming up to like 30, 20 bucks. So, yeah, and it's just the jacket. No armor, you know, no padding, just the jacket, which I, I don't know. I guess I could just stick a couple plates of wood or something, use that as the armor. I don't know. But, um, no, the pants, um, I've been thinking of buying original ones, you know, officers, so it matches the jacket, but those are pretty expensive, and as I said, this is 150 I could only imagine how much the pants are. Um, but no, uh, yeah, the pant, these pants I got from my mom, uh, when she was in the military, but, uh, and the boots. Uh, Rothko's, uh, jungle boots, so, now, the Rothko, um, jungle boots, I bought originally for Vietnam, but, turns out that some soldiers during, uh, the Gulf War also used jungle boots because, well, the U.S. wasn't really ready for a, um, desert war, but, uh, yeah, basically, um, jungle boots, they're a bit worn, but, uh, yeah, and these, uh, pants, all that. But, uh, yeah, got my shoelaces tucked in, my pants bloused. Same thing for the other boot, pants bloused and shoelaces tucked in. And, yeah. But, no, these, uh, Rothko boots were about 40 bucks. These pants were free. And, yeah. So, yeah, that basically concludes my golf War impression. Now, most likely, I will post a part two of this. Um, but no, what I'm really hoping for in the future is to probably go somewhere desert kind of thing. Like Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. Somewhere in America that, well, has desert. So, and just like take a couple photos or whatnot. But yeah. No. Uh, I really had fun, you know, making this uniform and all that, buying all the pieces, you know. Some I got from Antique Shop and then the others, eBay and all that. But, um, Gelbler helmet I got from my uncle. Helmet band I got from my mom. Helmet cover I got from uh, Constable's Antiques. The liner I got from Amazon. The jacket I got from eBay. The suspenders I got at a surplus store. Surplus store ammo pouches I got from Constable's Antiques. Canteen. So the canteen pouch and the whole canteen set I got from a surplus store. The butt pack I got from Amazon from Rothko. Um, the uh, shovel I got for Christmas, but most likely from Amazon. And then the belt I got from Constable's Antiques. Um, the brown shirt I got from my mom. And then pants from my mom. And the jungle boots from Amazon from Rothko. Uh, but uh, yeah, the only thing, so for the part two, you would most likely see me wearing black leather combat boots, all right, which was realistic, a flak jacket, chocolate chip pattern, and a um, chocolate chip pants, which, to be honest, I would like to buy Woodland Pasket flak jacket, but I don't really think they 
sell those or I'll try to find one, but I really don't know where they could be. But uh, yeah, this is my golf war impression. I really hope you guys all like the um, uniform. And uh, yeah, and so I think my next video will be coming out in about a week, week or two, because um, I'm going to be doing a review of a paratrooper helmet. So yeah, but um, no, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, please like, and if you want to see more of me while <laughs> dressing up in uniforms and collecting more antiques upon antiques and collectibles upon collectibles, uh, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm really trying to uh, try my best to make entertainment, but at the same time, I'm sorry for like if videos take so long. Um, one, I'm worrying about uh, trying to get you know uniforms and all that, and two, I'm also I don't know trying to find time to record. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, and if you want to watch more, subscribe. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. All right, see you guys. Delta One Hundred One signing out.